shit. Welcome to Thursdays at 3-ish. This is our theme song. It's fabulous. That's my favorite part. Every little cloud. Every little trees. All right. We're ready to go. Thank you for joining us. She didn't fade out. It's so unprofessional. Um, thank you for joining us for Thursday at 3. I'm Laura with Read Dunk Junk by Laura. And we're going to jump right in and start with our customer creation winners. We have three this week. And that's the dreaded point. We have a hello from Lisa Aragoni and a hey from hey, Jamie Lisa. Morris. Hey, Jamie. Oh, hey, Jamie. Um, we get to see Jamie Saturday. All right. First one is... Lynn Turner. Here's the before and after. Is that not fabulous? And it's timeless teal is the color she used. Do what? Oh, that's great. That's super. Hi, 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 hi. Can you do it? The video thing updated and now it's distracting. Yes. We have a happy Thursday from Monica. Hello from Leah Penan. Uh, hey, hi, Linda. Hey, Monica. Laura from Linda Olson. <gasps> hey, Linda. Hi from Dee Dee St. Peter. <gasps> Dee Dee. Hello from Ohio. Ohio. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> from Sharita. Hey, girl. There's hey. so many. My goodness, they keep coming in. You That's so fabulous. Have a lot of hellos. That is so fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you all. Good bunch of them are retailers. <gasps> That's awesome. <laughs> That's uh, Jill said a lot of the people that are watching are retailers, and that's fabulous. All right, so there's our number one. Um, Lynn, make a note that you won the Thursdays at 3 on your next order, and we'll refund $35. What? Right. Denise Stefanko says, hello from Michigan, but watching from the car on I-75 outside of Atlanta on her way to Florida. Good luck. She'll get there about noon. About midnight. So she's from Michigan. She's on I-75 outside of Atlanta, and she didn't plan to stop by and say hello? Yeah. Cut her and off, at, blocker. And at 3 block her. I know, right? You could be sitting here. Okay. And getting just Next. as close to Florida. Right? Yeah, and waiting out the traffic, then you jump back on, you're there at the exact same time. Next is Cynthia. What's that last name, Katie? I'm old and my eyes don't work. Lancia. Cynthia Lancia. This is the kitchen before. I forgot to pick I forgot to print the one picture, but she did midnight. This is after. And the other thing that she did that's really, really cool that I've told people about before, which is awesome, she took her hardware and put cotton on it and smooshed it in the cracks and then wiped it off everywhere else. So it highlighted that really cool little leafy kind of pattern in the hardware. Really, really neat. And great job distressing. That's awesome. Because we were laughing. You did a great job distressing because right around here is where people would scrape it with their fingernails and you've already got it totally distressed and looking natural. Head of the game. Woohoo! And our last one is Jessica Shannon. Ready? This is fabulous. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, she painted the burgundy leather and the wood and it looks phenomenal. That's okay. This I is know. before. No. Yes. This is after. No. It was a joke. No. <laughs> that looks fabulous. So all three of you place an order. Tell us you won Thursdays at three customer creations and we'll give you a $35 refund. So, thank you, thank you. This week, we are... Denise said on her way back she wants to stop. Well, all right. That's sort of a repentance process. We'll kind of accept it. Hold we'll it. see if it really happens. Wait. She's coming back. No one right. picked up on the fact she's in her car watching this. Maybe she should be watching the road. Maybe somebody else... But she's on I-75 outside of Atlanta. So, you so she's sitting. Stop. She's not moving. Yeah. Maybe someone else is driving. We don't know. We're not here to judge. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, okay, so we're this week we're working on... We're playing with glazes, tenable glaze, tough top. So the big project is the dresser over there. Katie, you want to show the dresser over there without showing Dad? Or the lights. Or the lights. Oh, or the lights. There okay. the way. Look how fabulous the dresser is. There should be hearts flying across that screen. And Katie, can you show where the right-hand side has been glazed and the left-hand side has not? See where there's a break in the bottom part there? You can see the, and the top drawer is glazed, but the second, the two left-hand drawers have not been. No glaze. Wait a minute, yes, glaze. Glaze. Yes, no glaze on the bottom two drawers. It's all oh, one hey. Excuse. No glaze <laughs> down here. Okay. And glaze everywhere else. I'm behind. Okay. All right. So, and can you show that one drawer sitting there? Because that's what the dresser used to look like. The one sitting out. That's the color the dresser used to be. So that's a pretty awesome transformation. So that's the there. before of the dresser. Uh huh. All right. So we're gonna show you what we did. First thing we did was we mixed a color. I love that color. Love, love, love. We mixed deep ocean 
and midnight. And people ask all the time, can you mix the paints? You can. You never know what you're going to get. Do what? Do what? Oh, you can tell. You can talk. So, so Tom suggested, mm -hmm. would you please share this? Share the video. Share what we're watching. Share, share, share. Share, share. That good? I don't know. It's not exactly how I would have said it, but it's all right. You can, <laughs> yeah, you can say it however you want to say it. Share the video, people. All right, that's a little more, a little more intense than I would have said it. But. Right okay, so we're starting with deep ocean, and we're about three fourths of deep ocean, and about one fourth of midnight. And then we're gonna shake it up and see if we love it. That's that's what I will it was, say. It, it was not. A little off. It was not. You're right. It was not. I got worried because midnight can really tint things quickly. So I lied. Just a moment. Let's see what we got. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, um, on the dresser looks like blueberries. Oh. So, right on to make up enough. Just to say, do. say, say that. You can talk. When you're mixing paints, make sure you mix up enough to do the whole project because you're not going to get a perfect mixture every time. So just make sure you mix up enough to do the whole thing. How's that? That's good advice, Papa Tom. That's great advice, wasn't it? And he's right. We're not quite there. I'm full of advice. Yes, you can do hellos. A high from Ableton, a high from Wisconsin, and a high from Beth in Jonesboro, which is just across the Hey, Beth. Hey. Yeah, see, I forgot the other ones. Mableton and? Mableton and Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Okay, well, it's better now. The original color. That's my original color. I'm not going to get it exact, but I just want to give you sort of the formula. And Illinois, hello? Hello, Illinois. Shake, shake, shake. I'm doing it like this because otherwise if I stand up and do it, my boobs are going to shake all over the place. That's what she was saying looks so pretty. With my boobs? She said blueberries, not boob berries. Can we do okay. layers of tintable glaze in different colors to get a little depth of colors? Layers of tintable glaze in different colors? Of course you can, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's a great question. Who asked that? That was Did it go away? Kelly Frost. Kelly, that's a great question. Yes, you can do different layers of tintable glaze to get depth. Um, and actually, I'm going to show you a couple of things that we're going to play with today that aren't even really glaze. So, we got pretty close. You might want to add just a little bit more midnight if you're going exact. I'm going to do it because I'm going to get exact because Tom said I can never get exact. So, now we're closer to about fourth, aren't we, Katie? Probably yes. Probably yes. All right, one more shake. So this is Deep Ocean. I was saying if you're mixing colors, first of all, we have a spot on the website that has recipes that we have played around with, and they're under the colors. It drops down and says recipes, and it tells you how to mix up the colors and shows you what they make. And then if you're playing with them, it's not always like red and yellow make orange because paints have a different, thank you, Tom, paints have a different base to them. They all have a different base, and they don't mix quite like it did stuff mixed when you were in elementary school. If you're looking for a specific color, give me a call, and I don't mind mixing and playing and helping you out. Ooh, there we go. Nailed it. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. There's our color, which we're not going to use because the dresser's already painted. I just wanted to show you, and then it got to be a challenge because Tom said I couldn't do it. So, no, we'll uh, paint something with it. Just not today. So, Deep Ocean, Midnight. Great combo. Hurt my heart. Because he's thinking I wasted paint. We use it on something else. We yes, don't we waste will. paint. It is a holy thing. It is a holy thing, and I didn't waste it. Okay. What we did on the dresser over here is, if we have tenable glaze. Let me pull out. Okay. No, I don't need that. We have a tenable glaze that you can add any paint to. The one thing we have found out with the tenable glaze is, don't add red to it, because... Tintable glaze is a white, so if you add red, you're not going to have a red glaze, you're going to have pink. Unless you want pink glaze and then add red. Sorry. And, and when it dries it, you go red. No, it won't. Because that's clear. Doesn't dry red. Okay. I'm just kidding. Do either one of you want to keep this going? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just kidding. So, if you're looking for a red glaze, don't add barn door. I'll tell you what to do to get a red glaze. And if you're looking for a black glaze, don't add midnight, because it'll go gray, because you got the white. But... If you want a black glaze, which is what we put on this dresser, come over here and I'll show you. I will show you. Have you ever used ivy glaze over cotton? Ooh, no, but I bet that'd be beautiful. No. Somebody do that and post a picture. All right. So for this one, because I started with adding midnight to my glaze, didn't really... <laughs> yes, Tom. Didn't really um, give me the color I wanted. It, didn't, it wasn't black enough. 
um, when I started. So what I did was, all I did was took the paint, midnight paint, and watered it down. So I have paint in this <clears throat> and water. And it's about, well, you saw my other recipe. wasn't really good, was it? Mm -hmm. It's about half and half. Maybe a little more water than paint. This is a big rag. I usually cut them up. But I can't complain because, look, somebody, one of my daughters set up my nice little table here for getting everything done. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Not me, daughter. Is well, I'm getting ready to do this. Let me tell you real quick about Tough Top. Yeah. On the top of this dresser, we put Tough Top. I put the Tough Top on probably 30, 30 minutes, maybe an hour ago. I put it on the top of this dresser. Now, when you're painting and glazing and tough topping and tintable glazing and stain topping and all of the stuff you're doing, you have to take into consideration the piece you're doing, how shiny it was, how well you prepped, your weather, the humidity. Are you raising your hand? No. Okay, the weather, the humidity, how quick things dry in your area. There are a whole lot of variables. Tom yells at me because I do these videos and I say, and I just did that and now I'm sitting everything on it and then people do it in an area where it's super humid or super dry or whatever it is and don't have the same results. So if you're not getting super cold, like super cold then back off, wait a little bit longer because what it is is truly the cure time. Um, but we're going to glaze this drawer. So I'm going to try not to drip on the floor. Actually, I'm going to do this baseboard piece right here. Should we put tough top on kitchen cabinets? Yes, you should. Tom, when, how many coats do you recommend, Tom? 30. <laughs> Tom, how many coats do you recommend? <laughs> um, so if you're doing cabinets, here's what I suggest. Do your cabinets, let them sit, give them a day, give them, <laughs> it's not going to hurt them. When you know it's good and on there tight and it's cured, then put a coat. And if you feel like you're one of those people that wants to, put two but you would never need more than two. That's the same tough top you put on a kitchen table and you don't put more than two to three coats for a kitchen table. So, um, but like I say, the big thing is to make it's sure you allow them to, allow them to cure Let's before you put the tough side. top on and so it doesn't wear. seal in all that okay. uncured paint. But y'all pay attention. We were paying attention. They were paying attention, Katie and I weren't. Do I need to remove all paint before prep? Is your finish only as good as the paint underneath? There you go, Tom, good question. Well, That's a great question. You guys are asking great questions today. Okay. So if the paint underneath is adhered, do not take it off. If it's flaking off, take a sander, lightly sand the areas that are flaking. Because, yes, if the paint's flaking off, it'll come off with our paint on top of it. So just make sure that there's no loose paint. But once you have any paint that's secure, you're good to paint over. You said it was darker on the other side. Yeah. Is that blending better now? Yeah, that's starting to blend better at the bottom there. Better or perfect? Almost that? perfect. We'll go it's with looking at it. It's still a tad darker on the side well. you did before. <laughs> okay. Is that good light, Kate? Yeah. All right, so that's all we're doing is adding that paint that we added the water to and using it as a glaze. That'll give you a red glaze, too. If you did the same thing, water down the barn door, it'll be a beautiful glaze. And if you don't have enough, come back in, smush it around a little. My drawer is darker over here than the rest of the stuff. But you've got some time to play with it and smush. And I'm using a damp rag. Okay, when you are Moist. tough topping, <laughs> wet, I'm using a lightly wet rag. Okay, so when you're tough topping, we've had people say every now and then, depending on where they are, if they're wetting it with the tough top, you know, the tough top you put on is going to wet the paint. And if you've started with a piece that has a bunch of oils in it, the oils can pull through that. The easiest fix in the world is add a couple tablespoons of paint to your tough top. That way you're colorizing it, put another coat on, and you're good to go. If... You are putting tough top on, because <coughs> I've done this if I'm impatient, and it's pulling your glaze off. Your glaze hadn't dried long enough. Just back off, wait for the tough top, touch up your glaze, and re tough top next day, a couple hours, whatever. So they're way easy to use. The If you get impatient, which I do all the time, that's the only time you're going to have a little bit of a problem. You get impatient. <coughs> With you, every now and then. I've never seen that. I know you had. I had it so well. Okay, now we're going to play with tinable glaze. And oh, Dad, you got to thank you for your for your great answer. answers. You're <laughs> welcome. I have lots of wisdom to share. 
<laughs> Just don't encourage Call you. me anytime. Don't I'll tell you how to live you. your life. Okay. If I answer the phone. Found this at a thrift store. I absolutely love it. There, we painted it linen. Just focus on that side. That's my halo. Linen. Is that your halo? That's my halo. And then, after we painted it linen, we're glazing it with sandstone. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Heart, 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 heart. Really, really pretty. Um, because sometimes the dark glaze is fabulous, but sometimes it's a little too dark. Um, and that's the fun. <laughs> I really do want to see the cotton with the ivy over it. I think that could be really pretty. Someone earlier said uh, cotton this? glaze over, I forget which color is in. Slate and Cotton steel. over slate is beautiful. Yeah, a cotton glaze cotton over, over that was tattered. Oh, she's right. Cotton over slate is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So do I got my, this. I'm getting ready to take it home and you're going to hang it. What? No, what? I'm not going to put ivy on it right now. Because you've already got it half It's going stone. home with me. Where are we going to hang it? Up under a light. It's a ceiling medallion. Obviously. Right. It's got all kinds of spots at home we can put this. All right. Our lights are recessed. Take it another one. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> up in the ceiling. He's trying to come up with the excuses. Tintable glaze. Take half of it. Pour it into a Tupperware container. Some other kind of container. So you only tint half because you're not going to need a whole tenable glaze of one color, unless you're doing cabinets or something, but if you're doing a smaller project. So I did tenable glaze, put half of that in there, and then put some sandstone paint in, a couple tablespoons, and that's what I'm gonna use to glaze with. A slightly wet rag, <laughs> I can't say, can't do it anymore, okay? And you're gonna smoosh it on here, and then wipe it off. Do you happen to have a pamphlet of your products? If so, how can we get one? We do, you should be able to get one from your nearest retailer, um, so check online and see who the nearest retailer is to you. If there's not a nearest retailer, then you can place an order and we'll send you one with an order. How do you just get a pamphlet, Tom? That's a great question. I don't know. Hmm. Um, but if they go online, they can see all the colors. They? Yeah, all the colors are online and if you have any They're questions about any of online. it, give us a call and we're happy to answer questions. We're kind of like an in-person pamphlet. So just give us a call and we're happy to answer any questions that we can. So Just smearing. ask for Jill. She will help you any way. Smearing, and then I'm wiping off where I don't want it. No, she's not, is she? Okay. See, look how pretty. Let me do this little section right here because it makes a big difference when you're. Okay. What are y'all whispering about over there? I hate people when they whisper. How beautiful you are. Uh huh. That means they were whispering about something they should have been whispering about. Okay, so I've got it on there. I'm just going to wipe it off. Got that, Katie? I got that. See how pretty? Very pretty moment. This goes in. Oh, thanks, Katie. While they're over there just doing whatever Almost they're doing, you and I'll do the video. Wonderful ferrets. Katie just got two ferrets. Do any of you have ferrets? They're amazing. S say hello if any of you got ferrets. We want to. We want to. We want to hear if any of you got ferrets. Because I got some questions. Those things are insane. The energy level. They're and amazing. What they'll get into? Oh my goodness! I have never in my life. So that's all you're gonna do for using the tintable glaze. And this is, just a second, I'll show you what we're glazing. Well, I mean, it's a ceiling bit I am, but look how pretty. Okay, and what this is, is like styrofoam. What is that? Plastic area. You get cardboard. <laughs> it's plastic. Yeah. So you can see, paint sticks, glaze sticks. That foamy plastic. Looks fabulous. It's going to be so pretty when I get I'll send you a picture when it's in my room, nope. in my ceiling. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I got ferret. I'm reading them. What kind of ferret comments you got? People have ferrets? Yeah, someone had a blind ferret, and they said it was so much fun. Oh, that's hilarious. That's amazing. Mine aren't blind. They're really no. cute together, though. They're She's got friends. two. Tallulah and Teddy. Tallulah and Teddy. And they are nuts. The things they can get into just blow me away. They keep knocking my trash. It's over. like having infants in the house. So she's got them in her room because mm, they're crazy. <laughs> they are absolutely crazy. Okay. Any questions? That's what we're doing today. Any questions about glaze, tenable glaze? Any good recipes? Top? Any good recipes with ferrets in them? Tom. <laughs> You're not eating inappropriate. My I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just being funny. Before we go, any questions? Because we're doing tough top today, and we talked about the key to that. If you have any kind of yellowing, put some paint in your tough top. Tendable glaze, way easy to use. Don't use black or red. 
just thin the paint. You can also thin the top, um, stain top just a little bit and use it, but test it on an area first because you'll have less play time with the stain top. It sets up a little quicker. So <laughs> it's an easy one. Is there people talking about ferrets now? Yes. Okay, so I'll just sign off now. Y'all can stay on with Katie and y'all can discuss ferrets. What did it say? Uh, the recipe was for gumbo. Oh, that's Yum. Nice. Yum, that's Teddy lovely. Gumbo. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We truly, truly appreciate it. We want suggestions for what you want to see on Thursday at 3. Don't be mean and say we want to see someone besides Laura because that would hurt my feelings. But if you have a project Tom, you'd like us to do. Tom in a mankini. Not. It's almost mankini season. I will be in a mankini that season. That is just wrong. Um, well, so I, let us know if there's something you'd <laughs> like us to do, a project you'd like us to do, something you'd like us to show you how to do. Um, and if I can figure out how to do it, we will totally do it. We would love suggestions. It would be so much fun to do the things that I think you guys want instead of just coming up with stuff and hoping you like it. Who did? Donnie Williams. She's late. She's late, late, late. Um, also want to ask you guys, we're running a contest real quick before we go. Um, we are updating our Pinterest board. Just like hopefully you've noticed we're updating our website and we're... We're trying to pull it together this year. Um, so we're updating the Pinterest board, and we've got some people working on that that are doing a phenomenal job. So if you will go to... Uh, how did they get to the Pinterest board? Through Pinterest? I'm not involved in that. Go to the Rethunk Junk by Lara Pinterest board. I'll post a link on the Facebook page after this yes. is over. I'll post a link. And if you'll go over to the Facebook, I mean the Pinterest board and like it, when we hit 1,000 um, followers, we're going to give away 10. <laughs> you do not have to do charades. I know the rules. When we get 1,000 followers, we're going to give away 10 gift certificates for $35. So go like it, and then we'll just randomly pick people. So once we hit the 1,000 mark, 10 people will get a $35 um, gift certificate for paint. Um, and I will post a link to that board so I give you the right one because we're kind of merging some. And there's we've had some weird stuff going on out there. So anyway, thank you so much for joining us. We truly, truly appreciate it. We appreciate that you use the paint. It makes us so, so happy. Happy rethunking. Oh.